Hey everyone, it's Nicole here today from Mama Elephant with a fun little shaker card featuring the She's So Lovely stamps and coordinating dies and the basic rectangles to create this amazing shaker. What I love about the basic rectangles is they can be used for so many different things as well as creating different sizes of shaker card windows. I used a couple of the dies here and die cut them from Bristol Smooth cardstock and then I temporarily adhered them together on the back with some post-it tape and I'm going to ink up through a Simon Says Stamp Solar Burst stencil with abandoned coral, spiced marmalade, and squeezed lemonade distress inks to create this really pretty background. And what I'm wanting is for the background and the stenciling to be inked not only on the center panel that's going to be inside the shaker, but the shaker window frame itself. So the frame and the background. And the best way to do this is to stencil them together. Now I get asked a lot why I die cut first and then do any of my inking. For example, in this design especially, I wanted the center of the solar burst to be in the center of the background panel. And because of that, it was so much easier to die cut it first so I could see exactly where those lines were going to be and then I could ink them. I could have also inked up a piece of cardstock first and then die cut them by lining up the dies, but this way I don't accident or I don't waste any paper, I guess I want to say, by inking up paper I'm not going to use. In fact, the rest of this scrap of paper, this was a scrap that I die cut this frame from, I'm going to use to stamp the girls from She's So Lovely and then color them in with Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers. So for me, it's just a lot less waste. Now I'm going over what I've stenciled to really give the panel a lot more color with my ink blending tools. And then I can simply flip them over. I'm going to remove my little pieces of post-it tape there that I temporarily use to hold those together. And I have another panel die cut with the largest size rectangle I used for my shaker. And I'm going to hold my frame in place to use it as a guide and adhere that middle piece to the back of my shaker. I like to die cut my components for my shakers using the same size die because I find everything is uniform that way. I also die cut a piece of acetate using that largest die that I'm adhering to the back of the frame. Now I'm simply doubling up some Scotch foam adhesive tape and I am going to trim this in half. It's a little too wide. It probably would fit exactly. Maybe it would show a tiny bit um, if I used it the way it is, but I like to just trim it in half. It makes my foam adhesive tape go a little further as well. And we're going to use that to frame up the frame for the shaker. This is going to create the well that we can put the shaker components in. I like to double up my tape if I'm going to put some kind of dimensional type of shaker material. Almost any shaker does a little bit better with two layers of foam tape. If I'm only using a tiny bit of some super flat confetti, I will use one layer. Now I like to take a powder tool and kind of deactivate the edges of that anywhere that still might be sticky. I'm just applying that powder to help keep my shaker components from sticking too badly. Now I want to make sure that my frame is going the right way. That first direction was not it because it's really important. I want that design to line up perfectly. Now I'm filling the shaker well with some summer sun confetti mix from Honeybee Stamps and also some Pretty Pink Posh Gold Mini Star Confetti. Very much kind of tone on tone to match the look and feel of the my card there. Then I'm going to take my backer and, and adhere it to the shaker front. So we've assembled the shaker and the background for this card first. All of the rest of the components are actually going to go on top of the shaker. I did not want any of the shaker materials to act to uh, be covering up these cute little girls from She's So Lovely. Next, I'm going to take a small banner from the Favor Bag Dies collection. I just went through my collection of Mama Elephant Dies and looked for a banner. And I'm going to die cut it from vellum. Now, I'm laying the vellum the way it's going to go first. And then I'm going to flip it over to the back side. I'm going to take my acrylic block and set it on top. And then I'm going to bend my greeting to match the design of that 
flip my banner back over and that should line it up perfectly to stamp my sentiment, you're oh so lovely, on this little banner using some clear embossing ink and then I will emboss this with white embossing powder. Um, I love a little vellum banner like this. It's a great way to add the greeting without actually covering up a whole lot of what's going on in the shaker. My three little girls I'm using are gonna cover up quite a bit of the shaker anyway, and so this still allows some of that color to show through. So I stamped that with the embossing ink. I'm sprinkling on my white embossing powder, and I'll heat set that. And then I'm gonna set this aside while I color the girls and get those die cut and then we will get the rest of the card put together. Now I mentioned earlier in the video that I am stamping these girls on Bristol Smooth cardstock using VersaFine Onyx Black Ink so that I can do some Zig Clean Color Real Brush Marker coloring. I love the way the zigs work on a Bristol Smooth cardstock. Here you can see that scrap of paper I'm using. I am simply stamping these girls one by one. What a great thing about the VersaFine Onyx Black ink is that it stamps crisply the first time. It is so amazing. And it works great with the zig markers, um, a water-based a water -based marker. Alcohol ink markers do not work with this particular ink. So this is kind of my go-to when I'm using zigs. Now I have listed the colors I'm using to color in each area of these three girls across the top of the screen for easy reference. Kind of starting with skin and hair and then moving on to their clothes. Lots of fun color combinations here. The colors I'm using tend to be a lot of my go-to colors. Some super fun sentiments as well as um, seven girl images and then a boxing hanging bag also are the images in She's So Lovely and then there are quite a few different greetings you can use. Really, really cute. These little girls are absolutely adorable. I think they would be really fun. Combined with maybe some other kid images or girl images throughout the Mama Elephant collection. So definitely go through your stash and see what all you can do with these. I love the little girl holding a pencil. I did not use her today, but I think she would be really fun. Even maybe used to decorate an envelope. Um, Lots of great ways to use these adorable cards. One of my very favorite greetings from, or two of my favorite phrases from this stamp set are actually, you're a champ and fight like a girl. I think those would be amazing as well. So a really great girl themed stamp set here. Really fast coloring. I colored this in probably 10 minutes. I was kind of on a time crunch when I was working on it and I needed to go pick up my youngest son. And so you can see how easy and quick it is to use these zigs. They're really forgiving. They blend beautifully. Just so much fun to use. I always clean off my lighter marker. I, I lay down the dark color first and then blend out with my lighter marker. Then I clean off the tip of that lighter marker over there kind of to the side or on a piece of scrap paper to keep the tips of my markers clean for when I use them the next time. Use blue and English lavender here for the final dress. And then she's got a great little bouquet of flowers that I decided to kind of pull in several of the colors that I used throughout coloring these images for a nice colorful bouquet. I will line up the dies here. Some snips scissors make it so easy to cut apart dies. I keep them on my desk at all times. Then I use a little post-it tape to line up the die and tape it in place and run it through my die cutting machine. That way I don't have to worry about it shifting. And then finally, we need to adhere the girls 
and the greeting to the shaker window and then adhere the shaker to a side fold card base. Now one thing I want to note is I am a big fan of making shakers smaller than an A2 size. So this is not A2 sized, it's slightly smaller. And because of that, it's going to fit in an envelope, a standard A2 envelope so much easier. So I almost always try to keep my shakers smaller. I used to make them the full card size and I love that look, but it is a little hard to fit them in a standard envelope. So if I'm gonna hand deliver it, I will still make those. Or if I wanna send it in a padded envelope or something like that, that will work as well. Here is the finished card with all that great shaker material. Thank you so much for joining me today for this card featuring the Mama Elephant She's So Lovely stamps and dies. The supplies I use to create my card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more cards featuring Mama Elephant that you might be interested in. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and we'll catch you next time.